So I wasn't going to make a video, um, just because I'm tired of making videos now, and I don't know, but here I am, making one anyways. Um, hey guys, it's your girl Molly, and today is whatever day it is from the 12th of being post-op. Um, I think it's like the 5th day maybe, I don't know. I don't have my watch on right now. But um, anyways, finally the surgery weight came off um, from them pumping me with fluids. So now I am at 300.4. I don't know what's up with these point fours in my weight, whatever. Yeah, so luckily I'm at 300.4. So technically if you go by that, then I'm 11.4 pounds down, I guess, which is good. Um, I'm just waiting to get over, you know, certain marks and points, and then I probably will be a lot happier. Um, I'm still healing. It still sucks a lot. One issue, I don't know if I said this in my last video. I don't remember. I have a, I got bit right there. But anyways, um, when I had surgery... They didn't tell me this. And you know, they did the EKG and EDGD and all the other things, which mean they checked the inside of my body. Um, not once did they tell me that I had scar tissue. Not once did they tell me that my stomach was actually twisted with my liver. Not once did anybody tell me this. I don't know why they would not tell me this. But, um, yeah, so... After surgery, they told me that my stomach was twisted with my liver. And I had a lot of scar tissue, so they had a lot of work that they had to do. Um, which may account for why I'm in such pain still. And because the way the doctor made it seem was like, you come out, you know, you have gas or whatever, and that build up, and that sucks, and you'll get over in a few days if you just continue to walk. That's not the case with me. And they gave me crappy medicine. The medicine they gave me was... I forgot what it was. But it's not medicine that actually takes away my pain. It doesn't do anything, so I haven't even taken a step a full bottle of it. I think I took one. Maybe two. Because I was trying to give it... Yeah, I think I'm ready to took two. But, um... Yeah, it's crappy medicine. And... Luckily, I had some pain pills left over for my breast. People, you know, which was a less surgery than my my, my um, stomach, but they gave me better pain medicine, so that's what I've been taking. And I'm almost out of those and my pain. And I haven't been taking my pain medicine like every four hours like it tells you to. I kind of like hold out just because I want to make sure that I'm actually still in pain. Which I am because it's like a searing pain. It's like someone put my stomach on a poker, a hot poker stick thing, and it sucks so much. Um, and so physically, I'm in pain, and then mentally, I'm not happy right now. Um, I just feel very lonely. And my support system which is my boyfriend he's out of town at his family reunion which I was totally invited to totally invited to they wanted me to come I wanted to be there but I couldn't stand being in a car for four hours being in pain like I am so I stayed home with my puppers and it's been very boring it's been extremely extremely boring and I don't know um I'm not very happy right now. That's just the gist of it. Um, I'm tired of going to sleep, which is what the pain medicine makes me do. Granted, I only sleep for like an hour. Um, I'm so tired of being asleep. Um, and yeah, it just sucks. But the weight's coming off, so I guess that's what I wanted. And I know it's only temporary. It's, this is only temporary. I know it's not permanent, but it still sucks while you're in it, you know? So, that's my web thing for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.